Matteo Borghi, a lecturer in entrepreneurship innovation at the Ali Business School. I was born in Italy and I pursued my first steps in my academic career there. I studied computer science for management during my bachelor degree at the University of Bologna in Italy, the oldest university in the world. Then I specialized during my master in business informatics at the University of Pisa, again in Italy. But for my master's dissertation, I came for the first time to the UK at the University of Bournemouth. So I was trained as a data scientist, but later I decided that I was more interested in pursuing a PhD in management. For this reason, coupled with um, its history, reputation, and location, I applied for a PhD at the Henley Business School in the Department of Leadership, Organization, and Behavior with a focus on entrepreneurship and innovation. During my PhD, I felt part of a vibrant and uh, international PhD community that I tried to further improve myself by being elected as a PhD representative in my first year. It was also great having the opportunity to acquire valuable knowledge by being in contact with a dynamic entrepreneurial ecosystem of both academics and practitioners. The staff has always been supportive and provided punctual information with faculty members uh, that the faculty members that have striven to provide me with helpful feedback to announce my research to. I truly believe that the opportunity to work with international colleagues and the support that I've received during my studies from senior colleagues have been paramount for successfully shaping my academic career and who I am right now. I'm now a faculty member uh, and part of the Andy Center for Entrepreneurship and the Director of Academic Tutoring. I really value the opportunity to work in such a stimulating environment, which helps early career academics like me to grow in their professional and personal life. Uh, I've tried, always tried to combine the power of data science with meaningful application in the management field. I'm very passionate about technology and innovation, and these are the core topics of my research that lies at the intersection of innovation, entrepreneurship, and data science, with special reference to the impact of digital technologies on digital business modeling and company online reputation. Indeed, I started my PhD by exploring the phenomenon of the fourth industrial revolution, which is supposed to completely transform our society as a whole. In particular, with my thesis, uh, I was able to understand um, that services and the service industries are an explored but valuable component of the fourth industrial revolution. And by leveraging secondary data, it seems that service robots are able to positively impact the customer experience and service quality. Indeed, among uh, the wide range of digital technologies that underpin the fourth industrial revolution, I decided to focus on the infusion of artificial intelligence in service robots. Since human-robot interaction is supposed to be able to completely redefine the service experience, I'm referring to those robots that act, uh, act as frontline employees in hospitality businesses such as hotels and restaurants. The, the one that uh, can serve you food or bring you room service or check your luggage. In particular, in one of my recent publications uh, with the, the research team, we tried to understand the role of emotions in uh, con the consumer meaning making of interaction with service robots. We found that consumers generally express positive emotions towards service robots. Trust, anticipation, and joy are the most frequently expressed emotions, and empirical results from multivariate regression analysis indicate that joy has the greatest magnitude and that anticipation and surprise do not significantly influence consumers' opinion and comments. Negative emotions are less frequent but have a significantly negative impact which might be considered by hospitality managers who are willing to introduce service robots in their operations. But that said, I love to work with data, especially with big data in the form of online reviews, since I truly believe in the wisdom of the crowd. The fact that aggregating uh, collective opinions from independent groups of individuals can help us, help us as researcher to provide a rich overview of the phenomenon we are trying to explore. In the future, uh, my idea is to continue to research these topics into three different trajectories. Try to understand a bit more about the impact of service troubles on the customer experience, at the company level, and also at a more macro level in our society.
business has dramatically changed in the last few years, as we all know. I'm thinking about the global pandemic and also the Ukraine-Russian conflict, not to mention Brexit here in the UK. Still, uh, I truly believe that success comes down to three main factors. So the first one being passion. Passion described usually as a strong and often uncontrollable emotion. Passion gives us purpose in our life. Being passionate is not just about knowing what we want, it's also obsessing about obtaining what we want. Passion makes us feel alive that we are on the right path in life and gives us hope for the future. So passion, like an obsession, is what is what drives us to accomplish our goals. And as an entrepreneur educator, I would like to couple passion with curiosity. Indeed, I always try to get my students to learn out of curiosity. Second, digital literacy. As I'm turning to my students in digital entrepreneurship or managing a change in the real estate sector, we are living in times of unprecedented social and technological changes. Today, individuals and organizations can access tools that can transform how our society and commerce operate. But technology has always been there and then is about change and is about has been like that in the last 30 years. So why now? What is different today? Well, the speed of change and the scale of the impact. So the question here becomes how to best navigate this digital world? How are these that technologies impacting our economy? And how can we exploit opportunities provided by digital technologies to build, grow, and uh, digital businesses? Therefore, I believe that having an understanding of digital technologies and their capabilities is paramount for success. And third, and last but not the least, in terms of the ingredients, the mindset. I'm teaching a wide range of entrepreneurship innovation modules here at the Enli Business School. And what I would like my students to acquire is an entrepreneurial mindset. As I told to all the teams that just participated into the Dragon's Den competition a few weeks ago uh, in one of my modules. But what does it mean practically? Well, it refers to the fact that you take action. You are resourceful. You welcome change, or better, you lead it. You love a challenge, but you also recover quickly when things go wrong. By the way, they will do. You're open to ideas and focus on what matters. Make sure that you just deal with the critical stuff. And last but not least, you are always looking out for new and better way of doing things. I would like to end this interview with a quote that I personally find very inspiring uh, from Albert Einstein. In the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity. Be passionate about what you do, show tenacity in your activities, and remember, failure is not final, it is feedback. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this interview and stay with me today. I look forward to the next episode and meeting you here at the Henley Business School where business comes to life. Thank you.